Greetings, everyone. It's Michael Langson, a senior recruiting analyst for Warchant.com. I've already talked about this some and even written an article on Zion Grady, four-star defensive end out of Enterprise, Alabama. Wanted to kind of just, you know, give my thoughts on kind of, you know, where that sits. Uh, certainly, there's been a lot of visits. Uh, he's visited Miami. He's visited FSU. Ohio State's a team that I think is is certainly very much in the picture. But just kind of want to explain the FSU stuff. Um, he's visited FSU a few times. Uh, I think a few times in the spring. Uh, I think the latest was around. I want to say uh, April, but um, not April, but just a little bit before that in the spring. But um, went over there, had a visit, kind of a quiet kid, doesn't really like you know, get emotions and you see a lot of emotions, but went there for the FSU, really highlighted the development of what FSU does. But I think it's even more than that. Like the family connection with FSU is, is definitely very strong. I think the combination of development and uh, what FSU is doing on the field, I think the, I think the, Draft in itself also had a, a solid effect on Zion because we started hearing the things twisting and, and shifting a little bit uh, more towards FSU because of that development. Um, Jared Burst obviously getting drafted, all these things going on that, that have certainly benefited FSU. And I think I would, you know, after checking on this, um, I know Steve dropped a uh, intel that a FSU's probably slightly ahead. I would agree with that maybe a little bit higher than just slightly for me um, based on the stuff I checked on, but there's still a long process to go. He's got to take official visits. FSU obviously will, will have one with him in June. Um, so I think that's the finalized uh, thing where he wants to experience more about just what he feels when he's around the players of uh, stuff like that. It's one thing he hasn't really experienced. I think development, his comfort with the uh, coaches is really strong he knows what he's coming into. He's camped at FSU. He's worked with these coaches, so he knows what they do. But uh, there's definitely momentum trending, and, and a lot of it's just uh, not just off development, but um, just uh, getting to know the people, and the people just connect with him, and, uh, and his family connects with them. So I think that certainly uh, had a strong effect. I think he's kind of held back some of the feelings of – of how, how high FSU is up there. But I do think uh, they have some momentum and some strong momentum, but obviously got to keep it going. But uh, going into the visits, I I can't believe I'm saying this, but I, I actually agree with Steve uh, Wilfong that, you know, FSU does have the lead and, and they have a chance to pull this off. And I didn't think that was capable or possible, you know, going into the spring. I felt like, you know, Miami was the early leader and, and I thought it was Miami or Ohio State. Now I feel like, you know, it's FSU, then I'd probably say Ohio State and then Miami, but um, I think it's you know certainly close enough where anybody can pull it off. But um, you know, there's certainly real, genuine, legit momentum uh, with FSU with Zion Grady. So, and that's a position that is extremely important uh, for FSU as far as uh, they already have Javion Hillison committed out of Coco. I do feel good about that commit, by the way, just to get that out of there, but. Um, to add, if they could add a guy like Zion, that would really drastically change their defensive end board because they want two or three in this class. I've checked with a few contacts. They tell me FSU could take three, uh, but two is kind of the number they've circled. Uh, but if there's a third one that's elite that they feel like they could get um, that they just can't live without, I think they would take three. So that's kind of kind of a wrap up of, of where things stand with, with Zion Grady.